Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Every Kenyans have a right to speak. The freedom of speech is what I'm, ex I'm now experiencing to you at this moment. Now, the political analyst Mutai Nguni have again thrown a bombshell to the former Prime Minister Raila Amul Odinga. He has criticized Odinga by saying or using this term, Ruto must go. He concluded by saying, go where? Or to go back to State House in 2027 general election. We all know the speeches what Odinga said in Kibra together with his supporters. They have they came out and demand that the election was rigged and President William Ruto is not fit to be their office. He maintained that twenty twenty two general election uh, had been rigged for Dr. William Samoy Ruto, but indeed Azimio coalition government won the election. Mutai Nguni added on that matter. Again, he also threw another case to William Ruto on how he made a false lies to create a Mamamboga government only for him to unveil a government of billion billionaires. Mutai Nguni added that to Dr. William Samuel Ruto. After I've studied this and also analyzed on Mutai Nguni's bombshell to these two politicians, I've also sensed that indeed we don't have a right, uh, the, the politicians who always say the truth. Because when I look William Ruto during his campaign period, he said that he's going to create a room vacancy for Mamamboga. I compared this in 2017 to President, the ex President Urumugai Kenyatta, about laptops, about free education. They only brought a laptop of few minutes and it all went. The same way, Ruto only considered Mamboga in one hour, even he did not even do anything to them and it disappeared. I also compared Odinga, who during his campaign saying that there will be free education in, uh, in Kenya Im immediately he will be announced as the President of the Republic of Kenya. And I've realized that this will not work. Reason is, these politicians are always listening to one another. They call one another and advising one another that do this and do this, but don't do this and don't do that and don't do that. I think this is what we call the deep state system where in any case one stepped in the office he or she must are there with that rule Mutai Nguni also added that it is late for Dinga to remove William Samoy Ruto or to stop him in 2027 general election there are so many cases that is now filing up but it will be too late, and this is my message too, to Azimio La Omoja Coalition to fight William Samoy Ruto. If you look that video that I posted yesterday on meeting the MPs from Nyanza, today again Ruto met with the, uh, with the MPs from Jubilee. What does that indicate? If you are keenly following political 
issues on this country, then it is really well that Ruto is now humbling himself, sweet talking these people. He will send them to the ground to convince vulnerable Kenyans who are easy to be convinced then to re-elect him back again in 2027 general election. I think that is what is now happening. And I have a question here again. How will Odinga stop William Samoy Ruto in 2027 general election? If Ruto has now come out with a new plan. How will he? Will he? Another question, which is the second one? I would like to ask you. Do you think it will be easier for Dinga to go back to ballot and get the same same vote that he claimed was rigged, that is 8.6 million votes. And in the 2027 general election, in any case, he go back to ballot. Then third question is this. Do you think Nyanza region will again cope up with Odinga? I was reading some comments for other politicians in Nyanza on, re, re, on how MPs from Nyanza they were arguing the reason why they joined Ruto in setouts. But I've realized that 98% are now tired with Raila Amolo Dinga. Let us accept the truth. And that is what Mutai Nguni is also telling, uh, trying to reveal to Odinga that it will be too late for him. And I also want to say this, that you cannot use the old map to find the land or the new land. I repeat that again to Azimio coalitions who still have hopes that one day Odinga will merge the victory. You cannot use the old map to find new land. That is also my message, as well as to Mutai Nguni's message to Odinga. I want you to answer me on those two questions. Now you see, this government is really overworking to put people to right direction to join UDA party. Then it means, after this, there will be another outcome which will surprise many Kenyans. Even Uhuru will automatically support William Samoy Ruto. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate the effort of your work. After you've watched me, please like the video, share it to your friends as you support the channel through your, your subscription. Much is appreciated and I appreciate you very, very much. If you are a visitor in this channel, do me a favor, click the subscription button and subscribe. Like and also share plus comment. I appreciate you and may you have a blessed afternoon as we wait to meet in the second video on political analyst. Bye bye.